by the Election Commission. The ECI had uh, posted a brief statement on Twitter saying that the announcement will take place today for the Lok Sabha elections as well as uh, four assembly elections scheduled to be held around the same time. Uh, now, the moral code of conduct, remember, will come into force from the time that the dates are announced. Uh, remember, in 2019, the election was held uh, over seven phases from the 11th of April to May 19th. Uh, we're yet to, of course, see uh, the dates for this year. Now, uh, in fact, talking about uh, the election dates that are going to be announced of a developed India. I have my colleague uh, Ashwara Jain joining us uh, from outside uh, the Election Commission office in New Delhi. Uh, I also have my colleague uh, Uma so joining us from Hyderabad. Thank you for joining Prime Minister Modi, in fact, has, uh, has penned an open letter. He's recapped his tenure. Take us to what exactly he shared. Minister has shared uh, uh, and uh, uh, this letter clearly states about the achievements of government which uh, uh, in, in during the NDA government that has been for the last 10 years uh, really uh, Prime Minister had uh, remembered about uh, the uh, demonetization era also about uh, uh, you know the transformation that has taken place in the last 10 years as far as uh, uh, the transformation outcomes of the results of uh, the sincere efforts made by the uh, government uh, uh, to, to better the life of quality of the poor as well as uh, farmers, youth and women. Uh, this uh, letter from the Prime Minister also had suggested that how Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana access to electricity and basic needs have been fulfilled and uh, had reached out to uh, lakhs and lakhs of people across the country. In this particular letter by Prime Minister, he has also mentioned about uh, uh, Matru uh, uh, Vandana Yojana and many more possible like uh, these who have trusted this for the last uh, 10 years. In fact, in this particular uh, letter by Prime Minister in Modi to the people of this country, it has also uh, stated that uh, the measures uh, and uh, the trust and support that uh, this is uh, this the government has got due to which the important and uh, very crucial decisions were taken like uh, implementation of the GST, abrogation of Article 370, a new law on triple talaq, Nari Shakti Vandan Act to Iran's women, uh, participation in the parliament, inauguration of new parliament building and that were some strong steps in fact, uh, 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 you know, to uh, left wing, uh, to, to, uh, to exclude left wing terrorism and also the, uh, the steps that the Home Ministry have taken uh, to ensure that there is peace in the regions of Jammu and Kashmir, several steps were taken by uh, the government and this comes just ahead of the Election Commission of India announcing the dates for uh, the general elections right. and this would be at around 10 a.m. At, uh, at, at 3 p.m. I beg your pardon. On the other side, we have seen that how a national survey was also done by the ECI and uh, last week only they have accessed the security assessment of Jammu and Kashmir where we are hoping that uh, with the Lok Sabha polls, there are several state assemblies as well which will go into. I am also being joined by Uma. Uma now in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh are in fact seeing interesting fights this time around. Uh, elections as well as the assembly elections uh, in some states including Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, what we are uh, seeing is the Prime Minister's letter and always we have seen Prime Minister Modi come up with something new to be able to attract the attention of the people. Yesterday of course he was uh, in Telangana in the evening uh, roadshow, 1.3 kilometer roadshow that he conducted uh, in Malkajgiri and uh, uh, at the end of it he in fact did not uh, uh, address any uh, public meeting because it also happened. Happened, I must say on a day of quite a dramatic development here, or quite an important development here politically of uh, Kavita's arrest, the daughter of uh, former Chief Minister KCR. What Prime Minister Narendra Modi is doing here is to give that big push uh, in these elections. We have seen that the BJP is giving a huge south push and in that Telangana they see a big opportunity uh, with the BRS now suffering a huge setback as well. Uh, the urban vote uh, of the BRS, largely we have seen that the Congress has not been able to do much, much of a dent uh, in the urban area, especially in and around Hyderabad. And if the BRS BRS is now a much weakened party. The BJP sees opportunity in that to be able to take that vote bank and that's why I think he's focusing on a Malkajgiri. Uh, you had Kishan Reddy along with him, of course, his union minister and also Sikandrabad MP who is also the candidate uh, for the Sikandrabad Lok Sabha poll and uh, the BJP certainly is also targeting uh, Hyderabad where uh, there could be, they would hope, an upset in that sense that Asaduddin OVC has been MP from there for multiple uh, terms and now for Madhvi Lata, a political debutant uh, coming there and challenging Asaduddin OVC right. there on multiple fronts. So, uh, in and around Hyderabad, whether it's Shevela, whether it is uh, Malkajgiri, whether it is Sikandrabad right. or Hyderabad, that push is what the uh, Prime Minister would be hoping to be giving through this. And today he will be going from Hyderabad. He stayed overnight at Raj Bhavan and he will be going, in fact, to Nagar Karnul, where he will be uh, 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 campaigning for uh, the son of the sitting MP. Both of the son right. and father had joined the uh, BJP uh, from the BRS and uh, Bharat is the candidate from there for the BJP and he'll be campaigning for him.